everybody, welcome back to Kana Spam. This month I am back with another ranking video. I just love making ranking videos, I think they're so fun. I think that people like watching me rank stuff, so <laughs> here I am. Today I am ranking romance book tropes. If you know me personally or you've watched some of my other videos, you would know that I read a lot. I can be very opinionated about romance books. Obviously, it's like one of my top genres, but it's also the genre that makes me the most pissed off. So I think that ranking them today is going to be really fun. <laughs> As always, let me just go over the different tiers real quick. So the best tier is give me 14 of them right now. I don't know if you guys know that one audio on TikTok. Spectacular, give me 14 of them right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you know what's in here? I don't care, don't Two. tell me. Give me 14 of them right now. That means if I see that trope in a book, I'm snatching it immediately and I'm sitting down and starting it right then and there. The next tier is just love. Like, I love it. It's cute. I'll definitely read it and I'll probably like it. You know what I'm saying? The mid tier is I'll read it. Like, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So I'll read it. You know, maybe, maybe I will love it. Or maybe I just won't like it that much. The next tier is Depends. 8 times out of 10, I do not like reading this trope. But maybe, 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 maybe I will like it. And then the very last tier is just Please Get Help. Like, if you like this trope, you need... you you just need to you need to talk to someone. Okay, the first trope that we got, we're starting off strong with teacher student um you're going to please get help first of all that is just nasty <laughs> that is like illegal is it that not illegal i mean i guess i'm thinking of like if the student is underage but even still like in college of prof i just mm. that just feels icky it feels like a power balance it's just next we have fake dating and i'm gonna put that in love I like a good fake dating plot. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. I don't think I've ever really read a book that's fake dating that I hate. For example, I just read Paradise Problem. I didn't love the book, but I did. That was my favorite part. The fake dating part of the whole book was my favorite. That was the only thing that kept me through finishing that book. I think it's so fun seeing it slowly turn into real dating. Like, I don't know. I think I like fake dating because it always ends up being a slow burn, which I really like. Okay, next we have sports romance. I'm going to put that in Depends because... <sighs> I'm just not an athletic person, so I don't really care that much about sports. I mean, maybe. I don't know. It's just like I don't care. I don't care about the sports. And usually that's a big part of the book, obviously. I'm sure there's a book out there that's sports romance that I'd probably like, but I just haven't read any that I do like. Mm hmm. Forks. For <laughs> Forced proximity is going and give me 14, 14 of them right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I love that trope so bad. It's just always gonna eat. I don't think I've ever read a forks <laughs> why can I say <laughs> a forced proximity trope in a book where I was like, this is awful. It always just leads to like something juicy going down. <laughs> I mean I feel like I don't read it enough. So like actually give me 14 of them right now. Give me some recommendations because I will read it and I will love it no matter what. Next we have bad boy slash good girl and I'm gonna put in like I'll read it. I don't really necessarily search out for those type of books but I don't necessarily hate them. Like I'll read it. I honestly don't have any opinion on it. Like okay. Sure. Okay, next we have Mafia Romance. Um, let me clarify right here. With Mafia Romance, I've never read an actual published book Mafia Romance, but I've read like a lot of fan fiction Mafia Romance, which I that's really embarrassing for me to admit. I'm gonna put it in, I'll read it, because kind of similar to Forced Proximity, 
it always leads to something really juicy like there's always insane drama when it comes with mafia romance i don't think i like it for the same reason that people who like mafia romance likes mafia romance you know like i don't like the whole alpha crazy stuff that happens i like it for the tea that's going down you know mafia romances always have a really fun side character is something that i've also noticed so i kind of like that too i don't i don't know if i would ever read a published mafia romance book because i know that it's probably weird Okay, next we have Grumpy slash Sunshine. I'm also gonna put that in, I'll read it. Because, I don't know. It's kind of like bad boy slash good girl. Like, I don't really care. I think that Grumpy slash Sunshine has to be done a specific way for me to like it. And I think it can easily go into I dislike it if it's really cringe, you know? So yeah, like I'll read it, you know, I might like it. Okay, next we have Bodyguard Romance. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in give me 14 of them right now because let me tell you I just love that trope so much I think it's just so cute I think I like it because it's kind of like forbidden love the idea that like they're being paid to protect them at first but then they start falling in love and then they want to protect them ah! and it's oh it's always so juicy like I said it's kind of like the mafia romance like I know that this is about to be so juicy I know that the like the angst and all like something crazy is gonna go down <laughs> in this story you know and I'm gonna love it I'm gonna be stressed out and I'm gonna eat it right up I don't think I've ever read a bad bodyguard romance where I was like this is boring or this is stupid or this is cringe I mean it can be cringe but like I just love it too much where I can look past the cringe you know and it's usually they're not weird like mafia romances can be weird you ah, I love it please someone recommend me another one please right person wrong time I'm gonna put that in love honestly because I love some angst I love something that's a romance that's gonna make me cry and I'm gonna finish it I'm gonna shake with anger because it's like oh I just want oh you know something where it's so painful but like enjoyable <laughs> like I'm feeling something right now you know like it's making me feel so many emotions like I'm so mad I feel like that seems crazy but you know what I mean it's so deliciously like like my heart <laughs> okay next we got only one bed I'm gonna put it in I'll read it too because like yeah I'll read it Usually that's forced proximity. Like I like when something is more original than only one bed. I think I just see that trope so often that I'm like, uh, I'm bored, you know? Okay, love at first sight. <sighs> I'm gonna say it depends because I hate insta love. I hate instant love where the two characters meet and they're like, they would literally kill for each other. I think that's so annoying. I don't believe it. I, it's just so unbelievable to me that I just hate reading those type of stories, but I do like it when it's like that for one character, especially if it's the guy who falls first, but I don't like it when it's mutual. And I feel like that doesn't happen that often. So yeah. Okay, next love triangle, guys. Sorry, I'm gonna put in give me 14 of them right now. I will always eat up a love triangle if the love triangle makes sense. Obviously, if it's like a forced Candace Peter Gale thing, then I'm gonna be annoyed. But a love triangle that's like real? Oh my gosh, the drama, like, I can't. Especially when you always go back and forth with who you want the person to end up with. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, single parent. I almost put in please get help, but I'm gonna put it in depends. I just don't really like when kids are in the mix. I don't know. It just, like, makes me uncomfortable and I honestly don't really care. And I think that's just because I'm, I'm not a parent. <laughs> the only time that I would ever really like it if it was, like, all of a sudden they have to take care of a kid. Something happens in their family and now they're the sole caregiver. But even then, I don't really love it. Most of the time, if I see a kid is involved, I'm not gonna pick it up at all. Okay, next we got friends to enemies to lovers. I'm putting that in, give me 14 of them right now. I love when characters start out friends and then something happens like miscommunication and they become enemies, but it's like, ah, you guys don't understand. I mean, who doesn't love an enemies to lovers, but it's better when they know each other first. I, I would put friends to enemies to lovers before enemies to lovers. Because when someone is like straight, they meet and they're all Mac enemies, I'm like, you're annoying. Okay, next, age gap. <laughs> Please get help. Hmm? Age cap is it's just gross. Like what are the 
I don't know, I just, like, that's just not my thing, sorry, I just, it's kind of like teacher-student, like, what the hell, what is going on, okay. Accidental pregnancy, I think we all know where it's going, and it's going straight to please get help. There is nothing, absolutely nothing worse than reading a book, you're really into it, like, you're loving it, and then the girl gets pregnant. No matter how much I liked the book before, I would literally close it and not finish it, because I don't care, you just ruined your own book. Oh! <gasps> It's just so annoying. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, the second a kid is involved, I'm out. Okay, bully, romance. Honestly, depends. If the bully is being a bully for misunderstood reasons, then, like, I can get down with it. But if he's just a bully or she's just a bully because she's mean and there's, like, no redemption, there has to be redemption, okay? Brother's best friend. Honestly, like, I'll read it. Like, I don't love it, but, like, I don't hate it. So, you know, you can give it to me. Friends with benefits to lovers. Gone and depends. Because honestly, I'm just not into the whole friends with benefits thing. I don't think it's cute. I think it's annoying. I think it's weird. I think that it always is just dragged out for too long. It's just not my thing. Workplace romance. Also, like, I'll read it. There have been some workplace romances that I like. Some of them I'm like, I feel kind of uncomfortable by this. That's how a lot of people meet, so it could be cute. Okay, now we have enemies to lovers. And like I said before, I'm putting enemies to lovers in love because I don't like when they're strangers, enemies to lovers. It has to have the friends to enemies to lovers. Because the friends, it just adds extra angst. Sometimes enemies to lovers can be a little too forced. Strangers to lovers, I love that. I think that's so cute. I think it makes the meet cute really fun. And when there's a good meet cute, there's no one better. <laughs> and I don't know, I think it's fun because you don't have to have all this like lore. Strangers to Lovers, it's just like, yes, I can get into this book immediately. I don't have to know all this other information about <laughs> what they had going on before, you know? That's why I'm gonna put childhood friends to lovers and just like, I'll read it. I don't really care. Sometimes it can be too much. Where I'm like, you guys are annoying that it took you this long to get together, you know? Okay, next we have slow burn. <laughs> yeah, give me 14 of them right now. I need a romance to be slow burn. If you already had a kiss by page 100, I'm pissed off. I need some chemistry going. I need things to be built up. I can't just have it like immediately they're in love. Immediately they're doing stuff, you know? These people actually need to fall in love. <sighs> I just slow words are just it's the only way to go okay next one of us is famous once again i'll read it i read a book like that when i was in middle school and it was great i don't think i've read one since but like it was fun it's probably gonna be cringe so i most likely won't like it but maybe it could be interesting you know i hate everyone in the world but you yeah that's going give me 14 on them right now i like this trope a lot in like dystopian type books not that i've read a dystopian one in a while but i guess more fantasy dystopian stuff this trope always oh, it's just so good. they have a soft spot for like whichever character like i just think it's so cute it just always gets me it always i just think it like really i'm like oh. i'm not the thing that actually rips my heart out of my chest but i love it it is the right person not enough time oh my gosh don't even get me i will cry but like it i know it'll feel so good like It'll be painful, but in a good way. <laughs> I'm not gonna put it in Give Me 14 there right now because sometimes I don't, I want something to be happy. So sometimes I'm just not in the mood. So I'm gonna put it in love, you know? Okay, next we got Friends Lovers. I'm gonna put it in love because like, yeah, it's cute. It's kind of like a slow burn. Like I love when a character, they're just friends at first and then someone, you know, like they slowly, <laughs> yeah. If it's a slow burn, I'm gonna eat it up. Okay, and then good boy, bad girl, same with how we start with bad boy good girl like sure i don't care i'll read it okay that's it for the video <laughs> thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this ranking if you have any ideas for other things that you want to see me rank just let me know because i'll probably make the video like i said before i love ranking things if you know any books that are in my give me 14 of them right now please let me know and please recommend them because I need more books to read. I feel like I'm running out of books. Like, I don't know what to read anymore. Please look forward to more Kana Spam soon.